Final preparations are being made by soldiers due to go on UN peacekeeping duties in Cyprus. 17 port and maritime group are more used to operating ports, so they've immersed themselves in pre-deployment training at Nescliff training area in Shropshire. Claire Sadler was there. These soldiers will soon be swapping the leafy Shropshire countryside for the green line in Nicosia, but ahead of their deployment they've been honing their skills of negotiation. It's a discipline they'll rely on heavily to keep the peace between opposing Greek Cypriot and Turkish forces who face each other across the buffer zone. How dare you shoot at me? Kalimira, Kalimira, good at in. What's going on here, sir? Excuse me, sir. They shoot at me. I do nothing wrong. I feel the training and the packages that our regiment's put together has uh, put us in good stead for when we do actually deploy there, we'll be able to manage situations on the ground when we get there. How are you feeling about going to Cyprus? I'm actually quite excited. It'll be my first operational tour, so I'm lo really looking forward to going. 17 Port and Maritime Group is 250 strong, just under half are reservists who've trained alongside their regular counterparts. We've integrated really well. Uh, they've been really supportive, informative. Um, and it's also boosted our confidence as a TA um, regiment to go ahead and peacekeep the buffer zone successfully. The British contribution to the mission first began in 1964, making it the longest ongoing British military operation in history. When 17 Port and Maritime Group deploy, they'll be operating under a Chinese commander and will work alongside Argentinian troops who control Sector 1. There's no tension in, 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 in the, uh, the forces on Cyprus. And actually, the, both uh, nations, nationalities get on very well and the troops respect each other as professional soldiers with one mission. While the situation in Cyprus is relatively stable, public order training is essential so troops are prepared for any eventuality. This two-week exercise is the culmination of six months of training for their deployment to Cyprus. In just a month, these soldiers could face this situation on the ground for real. The buffer zone remains sensitive territory, so a British presence in the form of patrols is essential to preserve good relations on both sides. Claire Sadler, Forces News, Shrewsbury.